New at 10, a new study by students at Wofford College is looking into how living next to abandoned and condemned properties impacts the quality of life for three Spartanburg neighborhoods. Fox Carolina's Kennedy Harris explored some of those properties today alongside this research team and the area fire chief. And Kennedy, what has the research shown us so far? Well, this map shows the location of all the properties officially condemned by the county. However, they believe there could be hundreds of abandoned and blighted properties that have not yet been condemned. Many of them just within the Una, Saxton and Arcadia neighborhoods. This house is falling in. You can see the roofs caving in. Some call it Spartanburg County's USA, Una, Saxton and Arcadia. Fire Chief Jeff Haddon is not only a public servant here, but he's a resident too. And he gets a lot of calls to abandon buildings. Drug overdoses, um, you know, a lot of crime where people are staying in those buildings that are not supposed to be. Uh, the neighbors have made several complaints because of uh, fires. Chief says there are several condemned properties like these, some damaged by fire, some used as shelter for the unsheltered, and others used as a breeding ground for crime. You have across town, you see all these nice streets and, and all that stuff. You don't see that here. Dills has lived in Saxton all his life, and he's seen it change, and not for the better. I can go somewhere else, but you know, but this is this is my home. I've, I've got a pretty nice home in a bad neighborhood. There's a thin line between poverty and blight. Census data shows 42% of the area is below the line of poverty. People feel like they're lacking quality education, quality health care, quality housing again, um, and they really just feel neglected. That's what the Walford students found through their research. The study started a year ago aiming to gauge the number of abandoned properties. Through surveying more than 200 residents, it turned into much more. But it's really become a study of poverty, of access, of resources. Their work found more than 40 properties condemned by the county, but many more that could meet the requirements. However, for some, it might be all they have. So if I report my home and it becomes condemned, where do I go after that? Well, I'm homeless. And the research team is working with city and county officials to figure out the best steps for how to address this issue. They've also gathered information from residents in the communities about what they'd like to see change. They'll present all the findings tomorrow at 6 o'clock at the Unifier Station, and they're encouraging everyone in the community to come out.